Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I was due in Nashville, Tennessee. And there seems to be a skeleton over there. Ske Whoa, and a skeleton down there. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how best to reach that area out that way. There seem to be enough skeletons that it's leading me to believe that Vetches might have some sort of anti-Joe Hills mechanism in place here. Comprised of perhaps some sort of skeleton spawning device. Now, I'm not sure the exact nature of the device or whether it exists solely in my own paranoid head. But, I can tell you this. I will not be put down by Vetches and his machinations. His vetchinations, if you will. So let's see. Where are they shooting at me from? There's one down there. So, and there seem to be a few out ahead there. Dang it, of course I can't lure this guy, like, back toward the cacti here. Because that would be far too easy. I could just be like, Hey, fella, I hope you're enjoying the cacti. Nope, he is not enjoying the cacti. He is still chilling precisely where I don't want him to. Trying to get an angle on me. Oh, wait, that's right. I can shoot fire bows, too. Or just bows. I can fire bows. Two, um... It's really dark over there, so I can't tell if there's still any sort of skeletal activity. Let's go ahead and replenish our wonderful cavalcade of snow we have in front of us. Our inventory of beautiful, clean, efficient snow. One of the most incredible renewable resources in this map, thanks to Vetch's giving me way too many of those snowmen at the uh, spawn area. So, this is looking like a reasonably viable place. Okay, so I definitely hear another skeleton now. Okay, there's that one. I saw him earlier. Howdy! Nice to meet your acquaintance. Oh wait, I already became acquainted with you from across the way. And I'd already begun judging you, because I'm a terrible person who judges skeletons based on their appearance. That's not ideal. I should probably, you know, seek help and try to endeavor to judge you based on what you do, not who you are. Although, I will admit a lot of who you are is what you do. So, here we are in yet another of Vetch's crazy cubes. Doesn't look like there's another cube across from us, but it's hard to say here. Can't really see around the way too far. There is a zombie, at least. We have, uh, we have affirmed the existence of at least one zombie here. So, not that this is necessarily entirely zombie country. Do we see any spawners, or what happens when we look up? Just, uh, big tall pillars in a sandstone area. Let's go ahead and hang a left first. So what do we got here? Coal, more pillars. Now, that light... Ooh! Is that a chunk error? No, that's just where we're going, apparently. So that's frightening. I'm not looking forward to that at all. Let's see what's around this corner here. Anything? It might just be that this is the... Huh, so it looks like this is like a massive ovoid cutout here. And I don't see any signs that there's anything opposite the entrance that I came in through. Um, or even uh, perpendicular to it. Is that mycelium down there? It must be. I don't know what else is that color. So, lacking any other great plan here. I'm going to illuminate this upper deck, and then having illuminated the upper deck fully, I am going to use my bucket of water to descend, and hopefully then my beautiful ladders that I brought with me to reascend, and depending on what I find, I might be really excited, I might be really scared, I might be like, oh look at me, I'm Ram Joe. That's a combination of Ram and Joe. It's not a play on Rambo, because you know, Sylvester Stallone was Rocky, and he'll never play anything else in my mind. But, wow, this place is massive. Is that the cloud layer? How do we get this high up? Oh, this is really messing with me now. So, Vitches does not seem to have provided us with a clear method to get across here. Um... Okay, that's the fleecy box, though. We have confirmed that. Kind of curious if there's anything, like, further out along there. 
like if I go out toward the um, sides, I mean, they might just be bedrock walls, but this could be an entire maze. I'm trying to, anything I can learn about the structure itself and its uh, shape might be of interest to me in the long term. Because, like, I don't want to leave an area unexplored until later that I might better explore now and benefit from. Hmm. Okay, yeah, there does not seem to be anything here. Although, I might be too far over it. Honestly, oh, wait, you know what? The middle of it might be aligned there with that, um, with that brick thing. So why don't I just try and cut across here and see what I can discover. Wow, I'm doing the worst job of cutting across that ever has been cut across. I'll tell you that. So we are just going to plant some of these right here. Let it snow. And then back we go. Okay, so we've definitely got our fleecy box there. And I don't have my zoom button, so it's hard to tell what else lies down there waiting for me. i got to tell you, I would love this area a whole lot more with ender pearls. With ender pearls, I'd be like, boom, I'm down there. Boom, I'm back. If I can find an enderman spawner in this, guys, i got to remember. Do not break the ender, spawn, ender pearl spawner. It's like one of those guys who's like, do not seek the treasure. For my brother, where art thou? Oh, yeah, I should uh, ascertain that there's no creepers here for sure. Like that zombie. He is not a creeper, but he does indicate there are areas here dark enough for the creepers to be hiding in. And... Let's give this guy a good go. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, and a sword. Great. Next problem. We are going to need more torches. I'll tell you that. I only brought a stack and a half. What was I thinking? So let's see. This seems to be roughly symmetrical with that other area. Okay, so we got a bedrock wall here. So that indicates that there's nothing, there's no segment over here. We should leave some of this area dark in general to allow mobs to spawn there so they don't all spawn ahead of me in my path. Okay, of course there's another creeper now who wants to say hi. Hi, creeper. Uh-oh, another skeleton. Oh, good, another pit here. I should have probably figured that out before I jumped across it with the skeleton shooting at me. And then I should, like, you know, kill the zombie. Okay, I'll use one of you as a skeletal shield. Well, that didn't work. I'll knock one of you down and then shoot the other until you die again. I have redeadified those zombies, or skeletals, or spiders, who are preceded by skeletals. Dang it, guys. I'm trying to, like, look at a sign here. Ooh, there's a lot of them there. That is not ideal. Away. Down. Okay, let's stay away from the edges for the time being. That we may avoid being knocked down into there. Okay, that looks to be another bedrocky type thing. From here, there's no light coming through that shaft, so that makes me think that it is not worth bothering to explore more fully for the time being. Man, this under um, lava is huge, though. What have we got up on the ceiling there? Is that iron? Was there stuff on the ceiling up here? No. Okay. So, that seems to just be on this side. Let's see what this sign says here. The Caverns of Recycled Socks. So, is this supposed to be like the tumbler of a dryer? Well, let's, um... I guess we could start ascending here and see if that is indeed iron, or if there are yet other ores that are waiting for me. Let's go ahead and light these so nothing spawns ahead of us or beside us here. That would be horribly undesirable. Okay. That does, or is that gold? It's hard to tell at this distance. Optifine zoom, you have spoiled me. Whoops, don't want that there. Okay, and one around there. This is not going to get us all the way to the top, I can tell you that. But it might get us far enough to get a good idea of what is at the top. Ooh, that is gold. I could make the gold brick out of these. Oh, wait, do I need an iron pick for that? Oh, who brought an iron pick with him? This guy. So, here we go. 
we will just climb our way up the secret stairwell. It's such a good secret that no one has ever seen it before. It was hidden inside of this sandstone. It's like one of them sculptures um, from the Dilbert where they're like, oh, Dilbert, it's easy to make a sculpture of an elephant. You just need to cut away with your sculpting tools all of the parts that are not an elephant. And then there's nothing left at the end of the sculpture, and he's just like, I guess that one didn't have an elephant in it. Yay, Dilbert. Okay, yeah, so I should... This is why I don't just spend all my time retelling things in this show. Like, there's an incredible podcast um, called The Jeff and Casey Show, which is now no longer on the air, unfortunately. Um, not that it was on the air, but it was, like, broadcast as a podcast. And um, they had a segment where one of them would just explain episodes of this TV show called um, Sequest DSV to the other. And it was like the absolute funniest thing. Because Sequest DSV is already hilarious. And having somebody humorously describe it in detail. Like, in an episode of Sequest DSV is like maybe, I don't know, 42 minutes. But they would spend an hour describing it, and, like, one of them would explain it. Uh, Casey would explain the show, and then Jeff would be like, wait, 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 wait. So are you telling me that they blah, 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 blah? And then Jeff would be like, yes, or no, 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 it's even crazier. And then it would be even crazier, because, you know, Sequest, DSV, absolutely insane. Okay, so we are up here. We've got our pick. Let's, uh, let's give this a good smacking. Whoa! So let's try that again without holding the strafe key because, yes, that is not necessary for the task at hand. Strafing. Not what I wanted to do. I'd like to assume that that was human error there and not some sort of repulsor beam that Vetch has installed in here. Because if he has some way of repulsing me like that, um, that would... Yeah, that I'm just going to assume that was my fault. I can live with it being my fault. Okay, so we got 10 gold already. We're going to want to take another for our map wall. And we're going to want to take enough that we can make any other gold equipment we might need, like powered rails, that sort of thing. Powered rails are like the big thing that you can make with gold, but then there's also like the gold melons um, for the potions. Although I still need to get nether wart. Avengers has told me that the nether is not off limits for this map. Um, it's just a standard nether so I can make my own portal and not be breaking the rules. Um, but I'd have to cast that with obsidian because I don't have a diamond pick. Which is, like, super slow going. So, anyway. Why don't we just go ahead... Oh, I've got a plan. New plan time. Why don't we steal this chest and leave the gold at the beginning of the area? Chest stolen. Boom. Okay. So, now, we just go back over here. All the way back down without falling out. Because falling off of this thing would make us all feel stupid. I should build a backstop there. Whoops, not there. But yeah, let's try that right there. Is there any other extra chests or anything I should be aware of? Doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, good. So, then we just hop down our ladder, which I believe was right here. I'm going to place that there. Awesome. And I can just place the chest with the gold at the exit. So even if I die on our little mini-adventure here, uh, down to the depths of this area... I won't have lost the gold block that I need to complete at least one of my victory monument slices. Uh-oh, it's a villager guy. Too bad, I'm fleeing because I want to get that chest put somewhere safe. Oh, yeah. And, of course, I don't have a real bridge across here. How did I get across here? Okay, I got across here somehow. Oh, here it is. I was going to say, I've clearly outthought myself on this one. I've outsmarted me. There's no way I'd do that. I'm, I'm not capable of outsmarting myself. I'm, not, I'm just not that smart. Just kidding. I'm my own worst anime. Yo. Okay. So, nestled here between the beautiful snow biome and the place with the lava and whatever the heck else is over here, we will go ahead and store 33 gold ore. And uh, you know what? I probably won't need this second iron sword. I'm going to, you know what, I will hate myself if I end up needing that sword. I'm going to take it. You know, yeah, let's just, just take the sword and get our torches back up. So now the best thing that we can do is get down to that fleecy box 
and then retreat with the wool post haste. Now, I think the fleecy box is closer from this side over here. So let's come on down and take the long way around. It looks like Vitches has some, like, stepping stones he intended for us to take. Or maybe those are just decoration. Maybe once I get to the fleecy box, I'll see some sort of treasure that I'll want so badly. I'll use the stepping stones from the fleecy box to get to the treasure. But I kind of don't think so. I, I think once I get to the fleecy box, I will probably want to flee back the way I came. Because, you know, that's what I do when I'm, you know, panicked after getting the wool. So, after lighting up some more of this over here just so we don't get snuck up upon, or snuck upon, for those of you who don't like repeating syllables. Hey, what's that carved into there? Does that say, is that like a face or something? Well, might be another one of them uh, Skyrim jokes that the Vetches is so fond of. Okay, so we will put this right here, and we will put torches on either side of it, where we can find it. Okay, we're going to hop on down here, add some torches to this. Oh, hey, there's real stone here, not silverfish. That's a pretty big deal. Okay, so let's take a look here. What we're going to want to do is establish... Oh, this is going to be the biggest pain, guys, and I'll show you why. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to build a pillar down to the level of the fleecy box... From there, this is already an incredibly precision move. And then I have to do it without getting shot off. So, from here, we can now place that. Uh, okay. So there's another treasure box over there, another treasure box there. Let's assume that those are just basic adventuring tools at this point, though, and come back for those later. So... We've gotten far enough down here that even if those are all silverfish, we're not in complete trouble. Now, we got to figure out where that skeleton was shooting us from. Which could be anywhere in this kind of mire of broken rocks and stuff. But I think that we have a good chance to make it to there and back again. I haven't really died too much this game. I've been doing a really good job. Except for that, like, first death way at the beginning. Been doing a good job of staying alive. I still have my starting armor and stuff. I'm pretty proud of that. That is not something that happens in every Vetch's map. Um, okay, so... We'll just uh, come down here. Okay, there's probably spawners nearby. So, be on the alert, guys. Silverfish? Hey, not silverfish. Let's go ahead and get out our silverfish killer either way, just in case. Just in case Vitches has gotten any ideas from his previous maps where he used silverfish to make my life horrible in a situation like identical to this a million times. Although I've got to say, this is one of my... Ooh. Oh, so that's how Vitches is going to get me to go down to the ground level. That's all iron there. I'm going to have to, yeah, I will have to come back here. Because even though I've got my um, Iron Golem machine, um, it is not the fastest thing in the world. And having a, an unrelenting supply of iron like this is quite tempting. I must have it. Okay. So this is where having an additional bucket of water would have been just like absolutely super. Thanks for asking. Um, so here we go. Drop this down, like so. Now, okay, let's just pop in through the ceiling here. That is a real block, everybody. Woo! So let's quickly scan since that other one had that diamond hidden in it. Is there any other diamonds hidden here? No. Okay, we've got the pink wool. Let's go ahead and escape from Vitch's Mountain before everything goes absolutely horrible. I'm guessing he might have some sort of traps or something kind of scattered throughout the iron down there. But I can worry about that another day. One of the things about a, a map like this, though, is that Vetches had said that, um, because it's kind of randomized, that some of the areas are just going to be insanely difficult, and some of them are going to be much easier, but they're not going to necessarily be logically um, organized. So, 
we've got this kind of dead end area here with all this ore and stuff, which is awesome. And so maybe it doesn't have a, a, a real hook to it, like some sort of evil, horrible thing waiting to kill me. Maybe Vetches is just giving me opportunities to kill myself. And I've somehow done a good enough job not killing myself. But, like, look at this. This is like a fallen to my death horror festival over here. I could have easily just fallen off right there, like, just while I was talking to you. Like, I was so concerned about what was going on. So, every area is going to be different, and it's going to have its own unique hook. This one has, whoa, gold at the top, iron at the bottom. And I think we are already getting back into the territory of those um, inconquerable bushes, which is starting to cause the game to stagger a little bit. So, anyway, I think that I'm just going to time skip, assuming I make it back safely, and I will see you on the other side. We are back at our base, and we are going to go ahead and complete our map that we've got so far by adding a gold block here so we can be vigilant and aware of its existence. That seemed to be a dead end, which is fine. So presumably the rest of the map kind of continues up here, although it might curve off and snake around. I got no clue. This map could be shaped anyway. It is randomly generated. So I'm excited about that, though. Knowing where I can get gold and iron means I can get some rail lines up, which hasn't mattered so far because everything's kind of close together, but I know the further I push, the more I'm going to want them. So let's see, where are we at here? Cyan, purple, gray... Pink wool. Woo. And we got that from... What was that? Oh, yeah, it was like the tumble dryer, the socks. So is this where all of the lost gold and iron goes? Like, I guess so. Done. Light it up. So that is one less block we need to put on our monument. I'm feeling pretty good about our state of completion so far. But you know what? Let's, uh, let's do a little bit more. And, of course, my furnace here... This is, you know, just one of them furnaces that uses coal, not a uh, newfangled nuclear power fusion propelled sand blasting furnace. Yeah, the quad heat furnace, it uses microwaves, convection, conduction, and friction. The best heat. No, that joke is actually from Pitfalls and Penguins, the book that I'm working on, which you can find at pitfallsandpenguins.com. Anyway, we got our nine gold ingots. And we are just going to slap those together there. Boom! Block of gold! So let's just take this block of gold here, throw this up on the monument as well. We got that in the socky place! Well, I... Sock. Ock. Sock. Sock. Sock! Done! Light it up. So, that's awesome. We're still missing the diamonds. We got a lead on those. I, got, I saw one of those in the ice place. Red wool, I know where it is, but I don't like it. It's where those Zestakins are. Black wool, I haven't seen yet, but there is that other creepy dungeon with all the lava. Might be there. Cyan wool, purple wool, gray wool, lime wool. We got plenty more to look for. So, anyway, I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. Please uh, make sure to click like or dislike. Make sure to comment. Uh, if you click the share button and post the video to your Facebook or your Twitter or whatever so your other Minecraft friends can like it, that's cool too. So I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.